Welcome to Prince of the Dead. Welcome. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, my name is Magnar Sveen. And my name is Christian Johansen. And as you can tell, we're not um, native English speakers. No. <laughs> we're well, from we Norway. We try our best. Yeah. yeah. And we are going to make a game for you. Yeah, that's the plan. So we're a couple of Clojure developers mm-hmm. in Norway. and We like to use Clojure for... <laughs> yeah, for work and fun. For work and fun. <laughs> and we wanted to show you guys what it's like to work with Clojure. Mm-hmm. And maybe also you will think it looks like fun. I think you will. A- and work. So here's the game we're going to make. Mm-hmm. There are zombies, of course. Mm-hmm. And they have some intentions. They're going to punch us. And oh, luckily no. we have some health. Mm-hmm. And then there are some dice. And these dice, some of them heal us. Some of them let us punch the zombies back. And some let us defend. Yeah. And then at the very right end there, there is some re-rolls. Yeah. So if you've ever played the board game King of Tuko. Yeah, or Yahtzee maybe. Or Yahtzee, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Any of those, then you will f- be familiar with many of the concepts here. Yeah. So this is like, I have made the styles and the CSS beforehand. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's what you're looking at now. So we're going to start making this from a blank folder. Yeah. Entirely blank. There will be some copy-pasting, but basically no scaffolding, generating, nothing. We'll write everything. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that to give you a faithful representation of how we work. Mm -hmm. So there will be stumbling. For sure. (laughs) We'll make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But we'll also create small features in tiny episodes of 10 to 15 minutes a time. Yeah. Sometimes longer. We'll see. We'll see. So um, tag along and hope you have some fun with it. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Um, yeah. We have like one empty folder. Do you think that's enough? Do we need more empty folders? I want more empty folders. More empty, <laughs> more empty folders. <laughs> okay, so in the source folder, I'm su- suggesting we do some testing. Yeah, Yeah. it's probably smart. We want some dev folder and a resources folder. Um, you know what? I have been cheating. You have been cheating. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We have like this cheats here and I have a a resources folder ready. Yeah, because we're not going to develop uh, the design and the UI. Yeah, take a look at this. Or we are going to develop the UI, but we're not going to develop the CSS. That's right. And we have 1500 lines of CSS here. (laughs) And in my opinion, that would be slightly boring to watch. Yeah, probably. Um, Um, Yeah. It would be fun for for us watching because you would probably be very frustrated as you wrote this. <laughs> um, yeah, because look at this. Add clamps, 705 pixels. <laughs> I yeah. guarantee you that at some point I was like, maybe 700 would be better. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, so, so it's not very entertaining to watch. I no. also added lots of pictures. We have a baseball bat. It's a very cool baseball bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I also, since we're cheating, I wrote the HTML. Yeah, that's fine. And I think, um, yeah, I think this is all the HTML that we're actually going to need. We have like styles here. We have our main c- container component. Yeah. And the compiled JS. Yeah. And the rest will be Clojure script. Yeah. Just putting things in here. So I'm going to uh, just copy these resources over. And then we can look at the DOM structure, which is a a cheat sheet in the cheats directory, Mm -hmm. which tells us basically what kind of uh, DOM structure that the CSS is written for. So as we're going to render the UI, we can look at this file and just mimic the structure we see here. Yeah, it's what the CSS expects. Yeah. Okay, so let's start a REPL. We need a REPL, so we'll create a Depths Eden file. Do you know what the minimum depth Eden file is? I do. It's an empty map. Very nice. That's very nice. We can actually start a REPL now. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Mm-hmm. So, and that is quite fast. Yeah. Starts with <laughs> very So nice. I guess we should do all our apps this way. Yeah. My apps don't start this fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, do you remember, is it paths? We're going to want to have like source and resources on the like, yeah, main yeah, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paths and then we want aliases. Yeah, and then we probably want some dependencies. Probably. Yeah. Is are those called dependencies? 
I can't remember. No. <laughs> I don't write this file every day. No, me neither. Uh, let's let's uh, do some more cheating. Oh no, this isn't the Depsiden project. I'm sorry. We're going to have to cheat somehow else. Depsiden here. Okay, it's just Deps. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just Deps. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisp programmers don't like typing very long names. Of no, this. no, no, no. Okay, while we have this cheat up, I will actually use it. Yeah, because it's fine. we're going to need close. Well, we we did get a version of closure. Like by default, I yeah. think it's the one that the one that's installed, yeah. or the the one that you installed. But it does make episode. sense to like choose one. Yeah, it's good to be explicit. We like to be explicit about things. So, uh, what are we going to do like this episode? Uh, we're gonna get the web server running so we can serve the index HTML file. So we'll need uh, this episode will be a little bit of plumbing to just get everything going. Yeah. So we'll need we'll we're going to use Integrant to manage um, our stuff on the server. Yeah, to wire the the runtime things together. Yeah, configuration and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're going to need Integrant. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to need um, we're going to need HTTP Kit. Yeah, for the for the server. For the server. And we use HTTP Kit because it's quite easy to set up web sockets with. Yeah, and it's very stable because no one's developing it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's Perfect. the kind of stability I like. And then we can use Composure, even though I don't, yeah. Yeah, we, we just don't <laughs> use it for like basic routing. Yeah, very, very basic routing. Yeah. I think perhaps uh, we don't technically need Clojure Script to serve the index HTML. File, oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's we'll fine. need it soon enough. I also added this JVM opt, which is pretty nice. Yeah. And it stops the JVM from removing your stack traces if you do too much <laughs> dumb stuff. Yes, and we're going to do a lot of dumb stuff. So yeah. we'll need those stack traces <laughs> to understand what's uh, going on. Exactly. And then uh, you want the integrant REPL uh, dev dep dependency, which is useful to interact with the system. Mm. It's true. So um, it's right here. It's right here. Let's do and extra so, stuff. So the idea with this screencast is to just kind of show you what it's like to write code from scratch. And it's, it's, it's intended to be a relatively faithful representation of how we do that. And this is a relatively faithful <laughs> representation of how I write depth.in files. It's true because uh, you you sort of have to copy it from, from somewhere. It yeah. might be that you're copying off some GitHub repo or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I, and, I, I well, don't do this often enough to have it memorized. Mem no, oh, no, exactly. Okay, we're going to want m more of this as time goes on, but let's start here. Yeah, but here's the question. Mm -hmm. Do we need cider piggyback? What is that? <laughs> uh, Cider Piggyback uh, will help Cider connect to the Clojure script REPL, I think. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we don't need it now. Don't need it now. Fine. Okay, I will close this cheat sheet, which was very useful. Yep. Um, and let's just restart. Okay, uh, let's start writing some code, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we could start getting our system wired up. Undead, of course. Mm-hmm. This will provide us with a delightful little pun in every namespace. That's very undead nice. Undead system. It's our undead system. Yeah. So, uh, like we mentioned, we'll use Integrant to wire things together. And uh, then we want a dev namespace so we can run the stuff from the REPL. Yeah. Yeah. So, how does... So, Integrant, in Integrant, you provide a, a map, a system spec mm -hmm. that describes your components and their dependencies. So, so we'll start. We we'll need some com configuration, some sort. Okay. So some app config. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just try loading that manually. Yeah. I'll um, I'll add some um, dev resources here, and uh, add the config. Eden. Eden. Yeah. 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 So it's port eight six 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 because it's the most evilest port, <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. for the zombies. And let's write a comment block. Always useful. So we can do IO resource config Eden. Yep. Ha. And it's not there. It's not there. Mm. Okay. Two reasons. Two reasons why that happened. I just created this folder. Mm -hmm. 
and I think I yeah, it's it's here because it's here. I copied it from the cheat sheet. But it's it very, wasn't there when you started the REPL. That's true. But we also do not start with the dev, dev alias. Aha, right. So I'm going to go back to my cheat sheet here, and it, there's a dear locals file. Okay, so I will copy that over, and this helps Emacs know how we want to start our process. Yeah. So dear locals.el like this. And then I will refresh this <laughs> <laughs> and we will restart the REPL. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now you can see here it says uh, minus a dev. So it starts with the proper alias. If you are very quick. <laughs> I was very quick. You so, were, you were. Yeah. Yeah, that's, the that's people excellent. watching this can pause it to see the That's true. Alien. That's true. Let's see if this helped. And here we have an object. Hooray. Hooray. So let's slurp it in. Slurp it in and you can then read string it. Yeah. So this read string isn't really safe. <laughs> no. But it's convenient. It's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we have actually been able to load our config. Yeah. So let's stick it in the function. Yeah. Exactly. So the way this works is we're using Intrigant Core. Mm -hmm. So let's add a require um, Intrigant.core as IG. Mm -hmm. And then there's a def method. Yeah. So it's uh, I think it's init key, but we're getting some help from Cider here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And it takes um, the app config key and then two values. Yeah. So None the, of which we care about. No, the, the first one is just the keyword again, the dispatch keyword. Mm -hmm. And the second one is dependencies if you have declared any and we didn't. Exactly. So let's paste that in there. Mm -hmm. and, and then who is going to use the configuration? That's a good question. But you know what? I want to actually start this system. Okay. Just, just look yeah, okay. at it. Sure. Um, so how does that work again. It's the integrant REPL, I think, mm -hmm. and require. Uh, so this is like integrant stuff that's supposed to be used when you're working in the REPL. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually when we're done with the game, we want to put it in production, we'll have to recreate something like this using not integrant REPL. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, start, I'll make a start function and it will have to do two things. First, and we'll have to tell Integrant where like the system definition is, mm -hmm. and that is set prep, and that's a function. So it's a function. So, so you can just uh, do const <laughs> constantly, please. Okay, I have to type it out. That's fine, and then we'll do system system. It didn't automatically it didn't. require the namespace. No, that's fine. I will just do it like this. Emacs needs to be warmed up a little bit, and then it'll help you more later. It's true. <laughs> it's very nice. And then we'll start the system like this. Yep. Okay. So let me just try starting it. Start. Initiated. Okay. Right. Cool. So now we have a running system somewhere. Yep. And it's an integrant uh, REPL state. state, and then it's called system. Uh, no, uh, yeah, system. Right. Thanks. So, so there it is. App config uh, port is six. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool, except I hate the way it prints that value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it uses namespace uh, maps. Namespace maps. Yeah. Let's uh, fix that right away. Yeah. So it said print namespace maps to false. And now. So just to be clear, I love namespace keywords. I do not love namespace maps visual representation. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so now we have a configuration. Next up, we need some routes, probably. It's true. We're going to have a configuration, a routes, and a handler. That's our goal now. Yeah, right. I, I agree. I'm just going to do uh, this for my own sanity. Yeah. Because I type, I write stop, I don't write halt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. Um, do you want to type a little bit? Yeah. So <clears throat> next up is, well, now we have like dev part of done, I think. Yeah, pretty much, except I'm going to add this here. So I have a convenient place to Stop evaluate it. Mm -hmm. And cool. then, um, so we have uh, the config. The next parts are going to be the routes and then eventually the handler. 
Yeah, agreed. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so we'll need some routes. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's usually called a handler. Okay. Because uh, yeah, sure. it crea- okay, yeah. compo- component yeah. creates a function that will handle. Uh, uh, the, yeah. So it's another one of those handler. And uh, do we need the configuration for the routes? I don't think so. Not now. Not now. Because we're doing very basic stuff. Yeah. And then the handler just does uh, its routes. What namespace does that come from? Um, Composure Core, I think. Okay. Composure Core refer routes and get, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. That looks nice. Routes. And then we have get something. We get uh, the root. We want the index file. Yeah, so just to give it the IO resource public index HTML. And it should be fine. And then to get the, we also want to we, serve we can, the resources. We, we, can try, we can try this. Yeah, we can try this. Um, okay. Because there's the app handler and it, okay, to try it, we might actually have to start the server though. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to need like an adapter. Adapter, something. And then that's where we need our config because we're we have the port in there yeah and then so we can do i think it's like this config and then it's something something yeah it's ref ref yeah okay so now we're saying that this thing here comes from this thing up here yep so then integrant will wire the system up in the correct order yeah and we'll get a config we need the handler as well of course so we need what you need to know what port to start on and uh, who will handle the the requests. There we go, and then init key uh, adapter, and then we have config and handler. Mm-hmm. So here the, so, the actual map that you see in the system, the, all the refs will have been resolved and then passed to the adapter. Yeah, and then there's HTTP kit. Mm-hmm. I don't remember a uh, server something. Yeah, Where does it uh, come just from? Uh, <laughs> just just search. Uh, I usually just search for HTTP get on in Safari or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, HTTP kit. I'm sorry, Chromium. <laughs> it's ungoogled Chromium. <laughs> just use Safari. <laughs> it's is it so ungoogled that? Yeah, it um... doesn't even search anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. There are other search engines, you know? Oh, yeah. 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 HTTP kit, um, or HTTP it, as it's called. Yeah. HTTP kit, here we go. And then blah, 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 blah. Excellent. This is, uh, let's go back, and I think this one. And we'll do server. Okay, and perfect. here you yeah. go. Here you go. So... Use, come on. Yeah, it's it's old. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do it like this. I That's don't like to have used. Use. No. And then it's called run server. Mm-hmm. Okay. Run server and it takes an apps app, which is my handler. Mm-hmm. And it takes port port config. Yeah, very nice. Um this uh function returns a function to stop it. Yeah. So um, so we can def- so we didn't do this with the other ones, but you can also halt key. Yeah, def method. Um, which is not necessary for, th- for, for config. I think it's... Is it, does it have a... Exclamation mark. I can do like this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then, but the adapter needs to be closed. Mm-hmm. So it receives the stop function. Yeah, but just, it also takes the key first. Of course. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and then sort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sort the requires, and now I can uh, we can stop it and start it again. Okay, so now we actually have a config, we have a handler, we have an adapter. So maybe actually we can try and look at. Uh... Should be pretty good. Yeah, there's the white page. Yeah, perfect. Well, let's take a look. Um, does didn't find styles, didn't find the app JS. No, oh. but well, we can figure those things out. Yeah, do you want to add like the resources? Yeah, we want to load the resources. We'll do that with, uh, I think it's in Composer. Uh, uh, route. route. Yeah. There's some tools in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll just add 
uh, is it's called, I think it's called yeah, resources. Mm -hmm. And then just takes the slash. Yeah. Okay. Now at this, mm -hmm. stop the system, start the system, refresh the page, and now it's lovely tinted purple. So here it is. It's working. The CSS file is being served, yeah. and uh, this is pretty good stuff. I'd say that this is worthy of a commit. Agreed. And you see the red line here is because we don't have app.js, and I think maybe that's in the next uh, episode. That's uh, that's called a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty exciting cliffhanger. Yeah, we We're not inside a Git repo. That's true. Let's fix it. So... Yeah, how is this? I can show you. This shell command. Shell command. Or, get in yeah. It. Yep. Yep. Get, uh, get, in, get it. in it here like that. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. Ignore uh, the entire thing. Uh, this one will add. This one will ignore. Mm -hmm. uh, add, add. 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 Yeah. Uh, all of those are good. Add. Yeah. Excellent. Looks good. And then. So we'll, everything we do on the screencast will be pretty much what we do at our work, except for our commit messages. <laughs> That's true. Good commit messages is important, but now we're going to like let you peruse the code uh, per, per episode. Yeah. So we'll do commit messages per episode instead of per feature or something like that. Yeah. So they'll be nonsensical, but sometimes funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> much like the rest of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, see you later. See you later.